a trinomial multiplied by a trinomial. So again, I'm going to handle that using the distributive property, which is going to tell me that I'm going to take the term on the outside of the parentheses and multiply it by each term inside. Now, you can certainly write each step out as I have been doing, the 2y squared times 3y squared, but as you get more proficient at these, you can also just multiply them and then write the answer for that. Multiply the two monomials directly and write that down to just move more quickly and efficiently when you're ready to do that. So let's try it that way. If I have this first term 2y squared times 3y squared, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 plus 2, that gives me 6y to the fourth. Again, if you need to write out 2y squared times 3y squared, do that step. Eventually, you'll do it this way, though. Then I have 2y squared times 5y. 2 times 5 is 10. y squared and y gives me y cubed. 2y squared times negative 6 is negative 12y squared. Okay, that took care of this. Now I'm on to negative 3y. Negative 3y times 3y squared is negative 9y cubed. Negative 3y times 5y is a negative 15y squared. Negative 3y times negative 6 plus 18y. Took care of that. Now 7. 7 times 3y squared is 21y squared. 7 times 5y is 35y. 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. Now, how do I know that I've taken care of everything, especially since I'm just doing a little more quickly and not writing out that entire step? Well, if I need to multiply 3 things times 3 things, 3 terms times 3 terms, that's 9 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's a good double check. Once I've gotten to this step, I just need to add the like terms. Starting out with 6y to the fourth. And I see I don't have any other terms like that. So it's simply 6y to the fourth. I have 10y to the third. And I have negative 9y to the third. That gives me y to the third, okay? Now I have a negative 12y squared, and I have a negative 15y squared, and I have 21y squared. So I have three terms with y squared. And these add up to give me negative 6y squared. Okay. So I took care of my y to the fourth, my y cubed, my y squared. Now I have y. 18y plus 35y adds up to 53y. And finally, I have a constant. So multiplying out two trinomials will give me nine terms, which I need to simplify a little bit more by adding like terms to come up with this expression. Thanks for watching educator.com and I'll see you soon.